What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to be making some soil for vivarium use. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Are you turn when possible? No, we're not. You turn. Hi. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? Hi, baby. So as I've mentioned before in my vlog videos that I have a great interest in starting on culturing isopods, springtails, and building some vivariums or vivariums. So what's the purpose of isopods and springtails? Number one, the springtails and isopods help break down decaying matter and keep your vivarium fresh and alive and it keeps it from all the mold and dying leaves and leaf litter and stuff like that will be eaten and consumed and broken down further to add more nu nutrients into the soil for your plants and animals. So another thing I want to try out is the way I keep my springtails. A lot of people keep them different ways. Different ways work for different people. And I want to try as many variable ways as possible to get the most that I can from them because I will be adding them both to my vivariums. So first thing I want to do is break down some more of this charcoal and rinse it off. That's something I didn't do that I saw that other people were doing. They're rinsing it off because every time I go in there a big puff of charcoal dust comes up. So I want to take this bin that I got here and rinse them off. Hold your breath y'all. To start a vivarium, first thing you need is some great soil. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to mix up. Some of the materials I don't have just yet. Like I'm going to be adding some leaf litter to mine. I have some. I just have to wash it, clean it, sterilize it. And I'll show you all that process either in this video or in a separate video. I'll let you guys know. But anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm going to start off with is some cocoa coir. This stuff is super condensed and it's in a dry brick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rehydrate some of this. I hope this wind noise isn't bothering y'all. But first thing I'm going to do is rehydrate some of this and in that pump sprayer there I have some dechlorinated water and that's what I'm going to use to to rehydrate. That's what I'm going to use to rehydrate the cocoa tech. this bin up. Alright. So that's, this should be good to go. Just and his mix, he puts in bark. My mix, I'm going to add the leaf litter, which I still have to clean and sterilize, and this cocoa fiber that we just mixed up. be adding my leaf litter like I said. Out of the way. Next ingredient is going to be the sphagnum moss. And the sphagnum, sphagnum moss or sphagnum moss, it, some people pronounce it both ways. That I got a huge thing at, at um, Lowe's. 
there you go just make sure the one that you get is organic and that right there for organic growing and I got that huge thing from Lowe's it's gigantic all right I'm gonna put eight eight parts of that And this has bark and stuff in it. Okay. And then the last part is sand. I'm going to put some, I just bought some regular play sand. Also got that from Lowe's. And I'm going to put four cups of that. part just trying to figure out how to pour it without spilling it everywhere. Now if you want to you can sterilize the sand also. Just put it in the oven and sterilize it. You can go online and Google how to sterilize that. Like for my leaf litter I want to be putting it into the oven on 200 for 30 minutes. Now here's the fun part. I want to wet this down some and then we're just going to mix this all together. Get a little bit of moisture in here and totally, totally, totally mix this all up. Oh, also what I'm going to do also is I'm going to add some charcoal to my, my mix. Forgot that. I'm going to add one, one cup of the charcoal. And i got to fix that. I've got to rinse my charcoal. And that, y'all, is lump wood charcoal. It's not the charcoal briquettes. When you do this mix, make sure you get the um, the hardwood hardwood charcoal, hardwood lumpwood charcoal. And they sell that at Walmart. Just gonna mix this up thoroughly while moistening it at the same time. This right here. It's going to be the base of my substrate for my vivariums, my isopods, and the springtails. I'm going to do the springtails in different forms of medium to see which, which way they do the best. Alright, this tub is 